Hello. Uh, this is Amboy Corrida. There's Dharma. Hey Dharma. And there's an empty parking lot. Almost. There's another vehicle. Lovely, isn't it? BLM camping. One thing they does they don't have on the sign is 14 day limit. They don't want people to know that they can stay here for 14 days. It's beautiful. Uh, it started out as a balls out effort just to be able to take a shower in late October. Hauling ass to Washington State, going and visiting their wonderful state parks, by the way. Uh, Cape Disappointment is an amazing one. I actually sold uh, my painting that I did of that. Very cool. When I was at Chiriaco Summit. And yeah. What else? Deception Pass. That's a good state park. Birch Bay, which is really beautiful. And yeah. And they all had sh hot showers, which was amazing. And yeah, when the Oregon and California shut down completely. So yeah. And then finally I came out to the desert. And, and I realized Arizona wasn't closed down. So I used their state parks and Grand Canyon. And, no BLM camping, which was in truck stops, and, and along the way, I found spirituality. I found the ability to love myself, which is always a beautiful thing, right? You want to be able to love yourself. You want to be able to feel special, unique. And it's amazing. That's why I always it hurts my heart to see children not being lifted up because it's it's going to end up being just some messed up adult who's just had no idea that they were an amazing gift the whole time and all they needed was somebody to tell them that you know I think as simple as that i know it sounds like cheesy and i'm not playing victim or anything like that i just think it's important for it to let children know how amazing they are and not to try to um you know i have my feelings about children and education and indoctrination and it shouldn't be sexuality should be kept out of it until uh, well i was in what, good lord, fifth grade, fourth, fifth grade when we were doing that, and they went, got the giggles, you know, put the boys in the room, the girl in the room, and told them kind of pretty much shit they already know about their, their own stuff, and then the other ones, and it's always in a chart, which is really hot, but yeah, you know, these are things that are acceptable, because you're, they're hit puberty, but yeah, yeah, you got to keep it, and then that, that whole critical race theory, yeah, it's just, bring race into anything, and that's going to be fun so and in particular if you're light skinned you're screwed if you have a light pigmentation as a human being you are inherently evil how fucked up is that right what about the albinos those bad four bastards you know, you know what i mean it's like where do you draw the line right anyway it's stupid it's all just ignorance but i digress love and light um yeah i got two other videos i'm not sure i'm gonna post them they're all right. It's just a little downer. Yeah, it's like, uh, not bad. I'm just tired. I'm drained. Yeah. My purpose isn't just to, you know, make people feel better with my hugs and my witty, you know, you know, sense of humor. But, you know, it's, it's my partner. It's my mate. You know, the person I'm supposed to be with, whoever they are. And the person I wanted st to step up never did. And that was just a super fucking disappointment. But that's not a, my their problem. It's my problem. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's exactly how you got to look at it. You take responsibility for your bullshit, and then that's how that's how you heal. You don't just keep blaming somebody else for your your participation in some bullshit, right? You just like you should have moved on. Yeah, yeah, thank you. And now that I'm, you know, plus another reason why I was alone for all this time is because I didn't want to drag somebody else into my personal bullshit until I was healed. And I knew I wasn't healed, so I didn't want to drag anybody else into my stuff. Which makes sense, don't it? All right. So, I just want to drag anybody into my stuff. And, yeah. So, I just decided to be alone and celibate. And, yeah, that's fun. It's always a good decision. It is, because you don't have any checkups to check up on. Stuff, rashes, and things falling off. And you're good, you know what I mean? When you find somebody, hopefully they'll be not as exuberant in their sexuality. And hopefully rein that sexual energy in. It's important too, because you want to. That's part of loving yourself when you don't let somebody just take advantage of your body, just so you feel validated in some stupid way. Look how I've grown. Just saying that. Wow, that's so grown up. It's adult stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna let you go. I'm. This is Amboy Crater. 
Um, yeah, I'm headed south. <sighs> I'm not sure where I'm going. I'm going to go through Joshua Tree again, head south. Either do 10 or 8 and go east to start crawling, you know. Might go down to Slab City and just paint a rock real quick. And just, you know, say hi and what's up and then just kick rocks. There's a big dunes south of that too I was thinking about hitting. So anyway, um, yeah, we'll see. See what happens. I love you. God loves you and the universe is really digging you still, even though that one thing you did. Just kidding. I don't know. Could have done some stuff. I don't know. But you're awesome. And I love you. Forgive yourself for everything too, by the way, because that's important in your healing. <sighs> but you know I love you. I'm a flirt. I don't care. Anyways, there's the sunset. For some reason, when you like focus on the sun, it doesn't want to do it. There's Dharma. Okay, love you. Bye.